In today's Madden 21 breakdown, you are in for a special treat. We are breaking down D. Croft on the offensive side of the ball, one of the best offensive minds in Madden. I'm really excited. We're taking a look at some of the film from his game against Young Kiv. Now, if you've never met me before, my name is Cody, and what I do here on my YouTube channel is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, and I post them on the internet. So if you are interested in getting better at the game, um, sometimes I post my own stuff, sometimes I post videos like this where we're studying what I believe to be one of the favorites to win the um, win the Madden Club Championship uh, in Decroft, especially with his performance last year. And so... Uh, um, if you're interested in stuff like, excuse me, interested in stuff like that, I would highly encourage you um, to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, going into this game, one of the things you need to understand about D. Croft's abilities. Um, First and foremost, he has um, a couple of different abilities on the offensive side of the ball. Now, this is only going to be D. Croft's offense. We're going to get into uh, Young Kiv's offense uh, in our next video this afternoon at 6 o'clock, and then we're going to go into a little bit of a defensive tutorial um, that is really, really effective looking at some of the other uh, great Madden players in the community right now and what they're doing and what they're learning and what their mindset is. Now, uh, again, this is, uh, this is meant and intended to highlight what the pro players are doing really really well so that you can understand it so that then maybe you can continue to get better from that okay so uh, anyways let's just jump right in to this now one of the things that's important to understand about this really quickly here is young kiv is um, a, a little bit of a blitz heavy player he's gonna he likes to send the goons at the P, at his opponent but d croft has a couple of abilities that I want to highlight. The first one is he has Backfield Master on Reggie Bush, Gunslinger on Brett Favre. Those are two of the kind of standard mutt abilities. I'm pretty sure he has Edge Protector on both of these outside guys here. This guy has probably got Identifier. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure he does. So that right there is about, I think, uh, 1 AP, 2 AP, 3 AP, 4 AP, 6 AP. Okay. And he's got Slot Apprentice on Julio Jones. I think that's another 2 AP. And then he's got Tight End Apprentice on Vernon Davis, which I believe is 2 AP for his total of 10. So I'm pretty sure that is what we're looking at uh, from an offensive perspective on this on this, um, on this this game. Now, first and foremost, one of the things I want to highlight is this. As we go through this, we are going to cut over to practice mode. And I'm going to actually break down in real time what the defense that Young Kiv is using and what the offense that D. Croft is and, and, and how the chess match is going back and forth. So um, the, strap in. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video, but I think it's going to be really, really insightful, and I think it's going to be really, really helpful to a lot of people, especially those people that are interested in running the New England Patriots offensive playbook. As you know, uh, if you've been subscribed to me or followed me for a little bit, you know that I'm in the process right now of releasing a full comprehensive guide on the New England Patriots offensive playbook. I ran this playbook in Madden uh, 19 and was really, really effective with it, and I believe that it's just as good this year, if not even maybe better with some of the route combinations that you can create. And so um, if you want to use this video as kind of a U-Trips borderline guide, um, this can kind of serve as that. We also have a gun split close video that we just released to our text message members that is over an hour breaking down a full mini scheme out of the gun split close pats. So if you want to receive that video, all you have to do is just shoot me a text message. Uh, my number will pop up at certain points on the screen, but it is 812-216-3644. It is also in the description of the video. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this first play here. So first and foremost, this is a rule of thumb. Now, D. Croft is in the New England Patriots playbook. He's going to be running the Y off trips Pats formation. That's the formation he's been in, I believe, for three years now. And I love it when someone sticks with the formation consistently throughout the years because what you'll find is their reads um, – really really do work well you know somebody that uh, I was listening to an interview with one of the pro players this was back I think in Madden 12 and he said that um, Madden is very simple defense it's, it, it's a on offense it's about reads all right offense is about reads defense is about adjustments okay so that is kind of the filter that I want you to kind of see some of these things through it's not necessarily that why off trips is overpowered it's that Decroft with his Madden mind and his reads makes this a very very effective offensive scheme and his route combinations can also be applied not just from Y off trips but it could be applied to the formation that you might be running like shotgun spread for me 
or bunch or trips tied in or you know the list can go on and on okay so let's jump into this now as a general rule he's going to be in this wide off trips he's going to always have the trips to the wide side of the field now on the first play of the game typically what decroft will do in this situation is he will um, run the ball because he likes to be on a hash mark he doesn't like to be in the middle of the field however what you're going to see decroft do and let me pull up my notes here on this game um, what you're going to see him do on this play right here is he's actually going to go to, uh, I believe, the scat play out of the uh, Wild Trips Pats, and uh, he's going to run this little motion over. Now, again, remember, he has the slot apprentice right here. Now, this is a simple three-man route combination. I think what Decroft truly is trying to do from the jump is just get the ball to a hash. I think that's truly his only goal here. Um, and I, and I honestly think he's looking to kind of see if young kid's going to be sending the goons or not. So he's going to start off. This is kind of a conservative play call by Decroft because he's max protecting. He's really hitting either going to hit this post route here or he's going to hit this route. If there's no flat defender over here, he'll probably take the corner route. But let's take a look at how young kid does defend this. Now, as you can see right here, young kid is blitzing three people. Okay, he's got three people blitzing. He's running basically cover three. We'll get into the blitz and the coverage that he is using um, here in just a little bit but if it, effectively this is just a simple max coverage scheme right he's got the purples he's got yellows over the middle field and he's basically going to say decroft you can take your flat okay so at the snap decroft is, is pocket presencing up here now right here he is anticipating kiv's user coming down here so decroft is trying to kind of wait and basically bait kiv's user to come down on the drag right he knows that he knows that he knows right most people would just, and I would even just say, take the drag right here, get your couple yards, and get the momentum of the offense. Obviously, you can see here the ball's on the 25. At this point right here, Decroft is probably at the 22 or 23-yard line, so he can only step up two more steps. So he's going to continue to step up. Right here, he's throwing this post route, which is wide open. It's a great read. Only problem is, as he starts to throw it, he's over the line of scrimmage, and Kiv is able to get the pick and able to go down and make a really, really great play. All right. So what I want to do really quickly is I want to jump over to game mode and kind of show you the route combination that he was using. So we have the U trips or the wild trips pads loaded up here. And as a general rule, what I believe Kib was doing with his crow flats, he probably was dropping them to 20. I'm not sure what he was dropping everything else to. We're going to put everything else on conservative here. He was probably um, playing ball, of course, uh, man aligning and auto flipping his defense. Now, Kiv loved the nickel 335 wide, and the nickel 335 wide is a very good formation. Um, the play that I believe he was running was either Sam Will Blitz or it was this Mike Blitz 3 with the um, with the purple zones. Actually, probably would have been that Mike Blitz 3, and we'll cover that one, um, because that Mike Blitz 3 is a little bit more deadly, in my opinion, than the Sam uh, than the Sam Blitz. So we'll just come out in Mike Blitz, th uh, Mike Blitz 3 here, and uh, we'll show you the scat concept that Decroft was using who was flipping the formation. Okay, so the flip of the formation, and this was Kib's basic front right here. Very simple front, and all Kib was doing is he was pressing the defense, and then he was typically shifting his line to the strong side. So um, something like this right here, and then his user is kind of right in this little pocket right here. Now what you'll see Kib do, literally he's just going to throw these guys into yellow zones. From there, he's going to probably throw these guys into a blitz, and then his job is to user the middle of the field. Right, very simple very simple coverage what Decroft was seeing on this play right here he max protected basically has that slot apprentice on the left so he could put him on that route and then you know basically just running a simple um, a simple drag post and curl now what he could have probably done here you see that you see the purples are going to take away that curl uh, that curled flat read very very um, easily okay so you can't throw there And we'll set this up again for you. But what he can do is he can now um, essentially have a high-low read over the middle of the field. So he's got the read drag, Evans, and this is the basic route combination. Snap it right here. And that's the read that, you know, that was the, the safe read. As Kiv's user was coming down on the ball, um, Decroft was... Um, was ended ended up trying to trying to get a big play over the middle and ended up you know getting obviously a penalized penalized for it now we're going to jump through here and head over to decroft's next position decroft did a phenomenal job in this defense in this game of uh really shutting kiv down in the red zone 
uh, which was really, really powerful. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get back into that. But we'll get into that at a later date. We'll talk about his red zone defense. But right here, now you're going to see this is where D-Crowd kind of goes – Kind of goes back to what his, his real strategy is. He needs to get on a hash, so he's going to run halfback power. Literally the only reason he's running that route, I think that's either, it's either, I think it's 5-6 five, five, trap. But the only reason he was running that play was to get him on a hash. Now you'll see he's coming out second six. Now he's got the ball on the right hash. And now you're going to see Decroft run what got him here. You know, this is this is the play right here. Um, and this is this is the route combination right here. So you see a Kiv going with a user rush right up the middle. You see everybody's manned up. And this is a read I actually want to talk about over here. Um, he goes to a play out of the uh, Y off trips, and I'll show it to you. Let me uh, let me set some stuff up here. But what you can see here is this is basically an out route to the tight end. Decroft is a master this year, at least in my opinion, of really leveraging that tight end in the Y off trips formation. Um, that tight tight end is on a lot of unique routes in this formation, and we'll show you this right now. We're going to head over to gameplay, and why off trips pats? Now this is a play called uh, not why option wheel. I'm sorry, it's not. Or was it why option wheel? It might have been why option wheel, but I thought it was just tight end. Um, I thought it was just tight end out. Uh, tight end. No, nope, it was why option wheel, wasn't it? Huh. Okay, so he's going to go to why option wheel here. Now, he's actually going to hot route his tight end to just a five-yard out route, okay? But the reason he's calling this play primarily is because, and Kiv is going to come out, and he's going to play Mike Blitz zero, right? Kiv is going to send the goons right here. So he's going to man line. He's going to press. He's going to shade his coverage outside, shade his coverage over top. He's going to shift the line here, and then he's literally going to run right through the A-gap with Lamonte David. So to save, and, and I think he probably crashed his line to the left uh, for this user rush, uh, but simply going to run through that line right there. Now what you're going to see over here on this side is Decroft is going to run a very simple concept. He's really, uh, on the left side, this route to Godwin is going to be a uh, pull route for zone coverage. So zone coverage is going to basically all pull to the flat. He's going to be able to, if they run like double flats or purples or whatever, he's going to have the seam wheel to the to the back here and if they don't do that uh whoops i need to push in the back if they if they don't go if they are in man-to-man -man coverage then his check down is his tight end whip or tight end out route and then also the user route or the route that kiv is going to have to guard with his user is obviously this route to antonio brown so they're going to snap it right about here and you see that's the quick read right there that he's able to take now we'll jump back over to the gameplay uh, and show you what happens so he gets the ball out quick Air, air trucks and gets about uh about six to seven yards okay so the next play that you're gonna see is um a really really good play coming up here uh and this is pat's slot out now what you notice is and this is what decroft was seeing early on and you're gonna see him go back to this several times when kiv goes to zone coverage he is primarily in a cover three shell that's the base shell that kiv is, is leveraging here so what you'll see here and this is just a phenomenal play call Cover three shell, he goes to coverage defense. Decroft bombs him right over the top, gets a huge play. We're going to break this down in game, uh, but I want to come back really quickly and I want to show you um, this instant replay here for just a second. Um, but what we'll do is we'll come back to that in just a second. I want to show you the routes. So, what you'll see on this play, this is Y off trips Pats, and the play is Pats slot out. Now, remember, he has that route chemistry, he has that route ability on Julio Jones. Obviously, since he was on the uh, – now, this is interesting. This is one of the only times, actually, that Decroft actually will run this. This is a play that is designed to be ran to the short side of the field. Okay, you need this to go to the short side of the field for it to properly beat the coverage. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in our nickel 55 coverage defense from Mike Blitz 3. And remember, we need this to be on the short side of the field. So in this situation – and this is I, – I didn't catch this when I was actually um, analyzing the game tape – this is one of the only times that Decroft snaps the ball with the trips to the short side. Or, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rephrase that. I'm sorry. No, trips are still on the wide side. The route from Gronk has to be ran to the short side. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, I, I was thinking. I, I didn't think I was wrong on that. So, okay. So, what about the route combination that uh, Decroft was using on this. Well, the route combination is very simple. He's going to place the solo wide receiver on a corner route. Remember, he has that slot apprentice ability to be able to do that. And this corner route is going to pull the deep third zones basically out of the play. 
from there, he's just going to take that left of screen slot receiver, put him on a drag, and motion him over. He's going to block the running back, and this is the simple route combination that you're going to see on the field. Now for uh, young Kiv, he's basically in max coverage. The cover three, you'll see that outside third is going to go, and so you can hit this route to the tight end right over the middle of the field. Kiv's user is occupied in the middle of the field, and we'll come back over here to gameplay and show you uh, what just happened. So we're back over here now, and I just want to show you. So you'll see, very, very simple right here. Now watch. Watch what happens from this coverage. Now you'll see here, Kiv is actually dropping. He's only blitzing two people. He gets caught on his defensive lineman. He was trying to get back to this guy right here. He ends up not. So his user blitzes on this play. This zone coverage should not have followed, but this purple zone did follow. You see it's going to drop all the way over here into the zone. But as you can see, this route's done its job. His Kiv is trying to still use this. Decruff has everything open. He can hit the post, or he can hit this post right here. Obviously, he gets his cover three beater. He's able to beat Kiv deep over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, D. Croft is going to go down into his red zone offense, which, in my opinion, um, not too, not too um, complicated, very simple. Um, he's going to go down into some I-form uh, tight, going to go down and basically – uh, what, I, what I've actually been kind of interested to see the stats on is when you go to ball carrier aggressive in the red zone, I think it's actually worth it. But what you'll see here, you know, Kiv is in big nickel over G, I believe. Yep, big nickel over G, show blitz, look here, trying to stop this goal line. And he's able to stop the fullback dive. I think Kiv is going to run commit a lot down in the red zone because a lot of people don't like to put the ball in the air inside the five just because of how compressed and how compact the uh, – the the goal line really is the red area really is here um, but basically flipping the dive and by flipping the dive what decroft is getting is he's getting kids uh, alignment to kind of f screw up just a little bit try to get a quick snap off the only problem is because kiv is run committing and because of his user positioning he's able to blow up that fullback dive uh, very easy if you want to get that same run defense that kiv is using that we broke down probably two months ago um, you can get that in our text message membership but here decroft goes to power o able to bounce it wide and does get in so we're going to jump ahead here a little bit uh, kiv goes on a and this was a, just a crazy play right here. I mean, this this play right here was a very one of the plays that separates Decroft. You see right here this user rush, strip specialist, sack fumble, and we'll be breaking down that when we talk about Decroft's defense, which his defense is no slouch. Like it's a good defense, but we get a lot of Kiv's offense here in the first quarter um, because of some of the defensive stops that Decroft had. Uh, so we're just going to jump ahead here to the next point. Um, and Decroft's able to hold Kiv to three points again, gets the ball. Now, this is a key drive right here. Uh, this drive right here is huge because this is going to take, um, this is going to separate Decroft a little bit on this. And what you're going to see is, again, heading back into the wild trips, Pats. And he does bring the ball out this time so that he gets to a hash. So you see here he's on the right hash. Now he's going to go to one of his favorite plays. Uh, this tight end whip play um, is really, really, really good. And we'll show you kind of what he's doing with his tight end on this. Now he does take a sack. I do want to show you. Um, I do want to break this down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, over to gameplay here for just a second. And I want to show you um, this specific play from uh, tight end whip. Now tight end whip. Again, what I talked about in the beginning, D. Croft is going to, you're going to see that he's going to do a really, really good job of his tight end being on some kind of quick hitting route, right? Some kind of quick hit hitting man beater or zone beater or something. And uh, you'll see that in this right here. So tight end whip, this zig route to the tight end is very unique. It's very effective as well against man-to-man -man coverage. So Kiv is going to go with uh, a little bit of pressure from the nickel 55, and I think he's going to mix it up and go with a little bit of a zone uh, zone look right here uh, on this play. But what you'll see, and we'll back this up here just a little bit. So what you'll see on the, as far as a route combination on this, we're going to place the left of screen wide receiver on a streak or a fade, and you'll see Decroft is going to use um, is going to use this. Uh, often I mean he, he's going to go to this often so we're gonna put Mike Evans on a fade we're going to then place the tight end or I'm sorry not the uh, we're gonna drag let's see here whoops I'm sorry um, we're gonna place a 
the tight end, place the left screen receiver on a streak route, and then we're going to – and he's going to come back to this. This is his cover three um, beater, and he's just going to block the running back. This is a simple read. So this is kind of Decroft's cover three beater. Only problem is Kim is going to go to – Man -man coverage. What you'll see is Decroft starts to see something that he really likes. Um, so, again, we're going to show you this. This is just simple uh, edge pressure left. So what, De what Kiv's going to do is he's going to use it right over the middle of the field here, and he's got the purples, obviously. So right here, the correct read for Decroft, and I think he was looking a little bit to try to hit him over the top, the correct read is right there. He should have hit right there because Kiv's user, and we'll come back over here to game and we'll show you the replay of this. Kiv's user on this play is going to uh, basically jump to the tight end. So you see here, this is the setup right here. And to be quite honest with you, this is the setup that will end up winning Decroft this game. But uh, And he will go back to it again and again and again. And what you'll see right here, so this is the edge pressure. So Decroft is kind of anticipating that Kiv's user is going to jump to the tight end. Instead, Kiv's user is all the way over here. I'd like to see Decroft hit this route right here, um, just based on where Kiv's user ends up going. Um, now, right there, that's actually really good lurk by Kiv because he's going to kind of fake here, and then he'll jump back. He should jump back to this post, um, but obviously the pressure comes in, and that's what happens. You know, you're in a competitive game, and sometimes you don't have all the time in the world to always make the proper read. Ends up biting Decroft. You'll see, though, he's going to go back to this route combination in key situations. Now, on this next play, actually, um, we'll see here what this is here. This is a simple – oh, he's going to go to the two-minute warning. Okay. But Decroft runs this thing, uh, just masterfully runs this offense. But here, I think, let's see here. I think we're going to go back to Pat's uh, Y out now. Yep, got that post. So this is just a little simple flood concept. And what you'll see is Decroft is going to hit that drag. So let me back that up, and, um, and we'll go over this in just a minute. What you'll see is Kiv goes to more zone coverage defense. Decroft is just trying to get some yardage back. He's not trying to burn him. He's just trying to get some yardage back. But what Decroft starts to notice on this right here is he really is going to start to notice that young Kiv is sitting in a cover three shell pretty much the majority of the game here. Um, pretty much the majority of the game, young Kiv is sitting in this cover three uh, shell. So um, now on this third down uh, situation here, uh, we're going to go to curl flat. And just run simple route combinations. Ends up taking another key sack here. So I want to back it up here, and I want to go over the second and 19 play uh, right here to to the tight end. So uh, we're going to head back over here into gameplay and show you this. So we're going to back out of that. And I just want to show you this route concept that Decroft was using on this play. Um, again, just another very effective uh, route combination so basically all you need is you just need a post from the left so uh, and again we're running this flipped because he's on the right hash now I believe he was running Pat's Y out he could have been running something else um, but I believe that's what the play call was right in that situation so uh, Pat's Y out because you have the post right on the left now all he's doing this again the very very simple route combination there's nothing too crazy about this What's, what's effective is the simplicity and the execution on this play. And, and you'll see just that when you when we go through this. So what I'm going to do right here is uh, basically we're going to do is we're just going to drag the tight end. We're going to put the left of screen receiver on a hitch. We're going to take Antonio Brown and put him on a vertical stretch. Right, We're going to stretch those zones vertically with that streak route. And then we're just going to block the running back. And again, this is a safe call because Kib was sending some pressure at Decroft. He has to adjust. He has to have a little bit of a protection scheme. And at the snap of the ball, he's just going to take this route to the tight end. Air truck is way up the field, and I can't do it as good as he can, but uh, is going to be able to uh, going to be able to move the ball down the field. And you'll see right here, I'm going to jump back over to gameplay. You'll see that same route combination that I just showed you. So right here, Kiv's user is going up because he thinks this guy's on a post route, right? That's what he thinks. He's actually on a corner route. And really, Kiv doesn't need to cover this guy. Um, but again, that's why it's important to mix your play calling up. Sometimes this guy's on a slant, sometimes he's on a post, sometimes he's on a corner. This time he happens to be on a corner, and you'll see right here, proper read from Decroft, coverage defense from Kiv all the way, but proper read from Decroft, hits that tight end, air trucks his way up the field. Now gets himself in a third and man, that's the key. So now he's in third and nine, 
And uh, what you'll see on this specific play is the croft is going to go to the play curl flat out of this formation. Now, curl flat is really, really good, but it can be hard sometimes to read it perfectly. So what you'll see on this right here, um, and you'll see here, D, uh, Kim is going to send a four-man rush. So he's going to shoot this backer off the edge here. Um, and as you can see here, same kind of thing, right? This is this is cover two, right? Kiv has gone to cover two on this look. And this actually defends it pretty well, as you can see. Um, the out route to the tight end's open. You could probably hit this right here. But again, his user was there. He's got a good lurk over the middle. He does a good job of faking to that RB route and then coming back down on B. Does D. Croft have somebody open? Obviously, he does. He misses the read. And um, he is going to have to go into a fourth down. Now, this play right here is probably the play that you've been waiting for me to break down. This 4th and 10 laser from uh, Decroft, one of the best um, one of the best throws and catches that you'll see. Um, and we'll show you exactly what he runs, and we'll show you exactly what Kiv is going to run on this play. So this is tight end whip, and we, he can't, he's going to come back to this route combination. Now you'll see right here, 4 down lineman rush from Kiv. This, Kiv goes to big nickel over G in this situation primarily because Kiv is going to play coverage and he wants the block sheds from big nickel over g to come in now d Croft himself plays a lot of big nickel over g so what you're going to see here this is just basic cover three from big nickel over g right very simple cover three defense and you can see pretty much everything is taken away now right here most people are going to throw this route right here to the po to the post route so Kiv is lurking down because in his mind this deep through this deep blue is going to go with rb right well he ends up not doing that and d croft pretty much roasts him over the top so we're going to go into gameplay here and i'm going to show you the route combination that he used so i have the play tight end whip loaded up in the screen and basically what he's going to do on this play is he's going to put his left of screen receiver on a streak route he's going to place mike evans on a comeback route and he's going to block the running back because this route combination does require a little bit of extra protection. Um, and then he will put the tight end sometimes on an out route. You could leave him on the whip, but he's going to put him on the out in this situation. Let me just go. Now, this is from the nickel 335 wide. So we might not get the same result. But what you'll see here is I can kind of get that over the top. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the big nickel over G and show you. This is primarily, for my findings within this within this play and this route combination, this is primarily specifically designed for the big nickel over G, meaning it's not necessarily every cover three in the game. It's specifically for the big nickel over G. I could be 100% wrong in telling you that, but from my estimation and from what I've learned about this game, running the same coverage concept from other formations, I have not been able to get this bomb to work. I have got it primarily to work whenever I'm going to big nickel over G. Okay? So just so you're aware. Now, how do you know if it's big nickel over G? If you see something like this. Now, because this safety is in this specific position, that positioning of that safety is going to be critical. And what you're going to see, Kiv's not going to move him because Kiv is not expecting this route. And what you'll see here at the snap of the ball, Decroft catches him off guard. And you'll see he's going to be able to go. Now, again, the one key element is pass protection. You have to have time. If you don't have time in the pocket to be able to hit this, you're not going to hit this. So I'm going to back the dogs off just to show you the route. But what you'll see is going to happen is the... Um, the route because of the post route that antonio brown is on he is going to basically uh, pull that deep blue zone over the middle to take the post the comeback on the smart route is also going to pull the deep third in the middle from this specific formation with this specific alignment and at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is r1 should roast cover three over the middle of the field for a one play touchdown as you can see right there again this is not every single cover three this is primarily the big nickel over G cover three, which um, young Kiv ends up going to in a critical moment in the game, and D. Croft is able to torch it over the top. Okay? So we're going to come back over here to screen. And this was huge. Fourth and ten. I mean, this is potentially a you know 10 to 14 point swing 
that is about to happen. And you see young Kiv just really, honestly, I think a little bit, sh a little bit shocked at what just happened. But Decrop, obviously not shocked at all with the lab work that he's been putting into the game. He knows that that read is going to work, and it does in a very critical situation and moment in the game. So now what Decrop is going to do is essentially try to... Um, I think Decrop is okay taking three here because um, of how good his red zone defense is playing. So he's going to run the ball here. This is a con He starts to play a little bit more conservative. His primary thing right here, guys, it's not necessarily to score a touchdown. It's to make sure that Kiv does not get the ball back. That's the bottom line. Decroft is not giving the ball back to Kiv. That's the bottom line. He'll take a sack before he'll throw it away. He'll run the ball before he'll pass the ball, and you'll see that right here. So he goes a 5-6 trap, gets a one-yard loss. Now he's going to audible down to I-form tight. Going to go down to I-form tight and just going to run power row. Very simple here. He's going to run it. Uh, I think he's going to playmaker it to the right, which is actually a good call. Um, Kiv does a good job of just kind of shooting the gap there and able to hang with it. And now he's going to go to a really unique route uh, combination out of the wide trips in this third down situation. And basically what Decroft is thinking in his mind is if I don't convert here, I'll take the sack. That's what he's, he's not, again, make sure, make, make very, no mistake here. He is not going to call this play and throw the ball away or force anything. If Kiv gives up the first down, perfect. If not, then, and if he gives up the first down, Decroft has all the advantage in the world here. But what you'll see, Kiv is now in big nickel over G. Down in the red zone, Kiv is shifted from nickel 3 through 5 wide to big nickel over G. I think primarily for the way that big nickel over G uh, defends the run. Uh, that would be my, my guess. Um, but what you'll see right here, um, and this is actually a really good route combination and really high. actually has him. Um, what you'll see is this window is open. He's got the ball. Kiv does a good job. He's got two different routes wide open here. I think maybe Decroft just doesn't have this play, you know, as down as he has some of his other concepts, which is totally understandable, but it's a great play call. And, um, I think he just kind of misses the read. I mean, he has – Kiv goes to pure coverage out of big nickel over G, right? He's got flats out there. He's got curl flats out there. He's got cover three or cover – I think this is cover four. I don't even know what he's in, honestly. I think it's cover four. But what you'll see is um, Decroft is going to just take time off the clock. Now, Kiv sends this guy right here. Now, at this point, Decroft's not going to risk throwing this ball into this window because of this defender right here. Really nothing. Um, I, I would like to see him playmaker a little bit more, maybe take this guy and playmaker him back across the uh, screen. But Decroft's just going to simply take the sack. Now, what I want to do is jump over to game plan, actually break down this route combination because I think it's actually something that's really, really effective. And, uh, again, Decroft ran this. Let me get my notes back up here. But he, he ran this to the right hash, okay? So he, he basically flipped um, flipped his U trips. And the play that he ran was Pat's drag wheel. Okay. And the play that Kiv was running, I believe it could have, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was just a simple cover four quarters concept because Kiv was basically in the mindset of, I'm going to give up the underneath and then I'm going to, you know, basically, uh, stop you. So essentially dropping these two guys in his zones, and then he's going to use her, um, with this guy over the middle of the field. So to mimic that, we're just going to put him in a middle coverage. And uh, the route combination that Decroft was employing was basically he took the running back and he put him on an angle route. Um, he took his right of screen solo wide receiver and he put him on a flat route. He placed the tight end on a simple out route. He placed the left of screen slot receiver on a streak up the seam in case they were in cover two. And then he motioned this wide receiver to the right and basically snapped him when he passed this tackle. And what you'll see is this little route, this was exactly what was open right here. Now, that would have been wide open, um, and, and that's what he was really looking for. And I just want to show you um, real quick what Kiv's user was able to do on this play. It was actually phenomenal because he was able to take away two effectively wide open reads um, that were really, really good route combinations. So again, and again, you know, Decroft could have hit, um, you know, he could have hit this this little tight end route. But you see, he had that right there. 
and, and he could have rat caught that up for, for a couple yards. Um, again, I think Decroft was looking to score, though, and so I think he was anticipating, again, this is all about play calling, anticipation, right, Monday morning quarterback syndrome. I love being the Monday morning quarterback because you're never hardly ever wrong, right? But when you're on the field, sometimes you miss the read. I think Decroft, what he was looking for was he was trying to hit this um, – this streak over the middle. He was thinking that Kev might be in a cover two. So he, he was trying to hit this streak over the middle to Antonio Brown. But what he could have done was just check down right there and just air trucked. And he probably could have got the first down on that play. But anyway, irregardless, um, Kev gets the stop. We're going to jump back over here to gameplay. And uh, what you'll see now is that Kev is going to get the stop going into half, gets the field goal. And we're going to jump in. Now, Decroft, again, did a great job of taking the clock. I do want you to see that real quick. So, again, this is just simple clock management. He's taking the clock down, and um, he's going to go up 17-6 to six and give Kiv effectively no time, right? He gets all this clock gone, and that was where it was really smart of him to take the sack or to just fall down with his quarterback uh, very, very easy, okay? So that is, um, that is the end of the first half, and – he's going to take his three and go up. So Kiv's going to get the ball coming out of half. And this is a huge drive for Kiv. Um, you see Decraft rushing off that edge with the user rush, getting really good heat. Um, Kiv's going to drive down, though. Kiv does such a good job of driving driving down the field. The problem is Kiv uh, ends up, you know, in this situation, he is able to get a touchdown. But he has hard, a hard time um, scoring in the red zone. Uh, and here, here, right here, he ends up going for two. I think Decroft's going to end up holding him, um, holding him to just taking a field goal, as you can see. And now Decroft um, is going to flip, get the ball. And this is a this is a key drive. This right here is the drive that is going to really um, put a lot of pressure on Kiv. In my opinion, Decroft wins the game if he gets a touchdown on this drive. You're going to see um, on here that he is going to start to shift. And take a look and make sure you take special notice to Kiv's defense as well. Um, but what we'll see here is Decroft heading back to the Y off trips formation. Um, should be running a simple power run just so that he gets on a hash. And it looks like he wants to be on the left hash uh, mark so that he can run his trips as a standard. Uh, so he's going to come out second and 10. And looks like he is going to be shifting into. Um, let's see, let me put my notes here. He is going to run PA Fork, actually, I believe. I think right here he's trying to catch Kevin Mann. Yep, PA Fork. And uh, and we'll we'll show you in, in over here in gameplay what just happened. So uh, Kiv was running, like I said, uh, a lot of you know different coverages but one of the coverages he actually really liked to run was man to man so decroft thought he might be able to catch him coming out of half you know in some kind of man coverage defense or something and that's where he ran this play right here pa fork um right here pa fork from the wild trips ran it just standard and uh ran to the left hash and kiff comes out in basic you know nickel three three five y now what Decroft was anticipating was he was going to be in main coverage. The reality is Kiv ends up being in zone, ends up being in Mike Blitz 3. And the setup is fairly simple. Basically, we're going to block the running back. We're going to smart route that outside S route so that it goes deeper or so that it, it cuts sharper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a left of screen solo wide receiver on a corner route. We're going to place the right of screen slot wide receiver on a slant route. We're going to place the tight end on an out route. So basically, literally the only reason we're running this is we're trying to get him deep, whether it be over the top of a cover two or a cover two man. And uh, again, Kiv ends up running zone coverage D. And um, Decroft does a good job, um, hits this little quick out route air trucks up the field for uh, a gain of, I think, three. And he just loves the air truck, does a great job of using it, and uh, you'll see that right here. So simple air truck right up the field for a couple yards here. Now you see here, Decroft is 5 of 6 for 147 yards. He would have been 6 of 6 if he didn't throw the pick on the first play. So far, Decroft's been 
borderline perfect on offense passing wise. Now, right here, um, you see Kiv is in this nickel 55 wide. Now, Decop is trying to kind of catch him a little bit, but he goes to halfback Slago, ends up taking that out route to the tight end once again. Uh, we'll break down that uh, that route combination for you really quickly. Again, Decroft is kind of trying to catch Kiv, um, getting greedy uh, on the getting greedy on the underneath. So we'll show you this little route combination that he utilizes, and this is halfback Slago. Now this is a flipped version of this, so we'll come out Y off trips flipped halfback Slago, and the reason he call halfback Slago is because of that little streak route that you get on the inside. You see how it's kind of angled to the middle of the field? Now, now uh, Kiv, again, goes back to kind of this basic um, coverage defense from the um, nickel 55 wide, just basically zoning his linebackers and then making it look like, um, you know, making it look like, you know, he might be user rushing or he might be, you know, be doing something here. Now, uh, the setup that Decroft used for this play was he placed the right of screen solo wide receiver on a corner route, which was typically very typical for his offense, placed the tight end on a drag route. He uh, motioned, um, da, 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 whoops, I'm sorry. Um, he placed the left of screen wide receiver on a in route. So that right there, that setup. And then he blocked the running back to cancel that auto motion. And so as you can see right here, um, just a simple... He's just looking up the seam. Okay, nothing there. I'm going to take my check down to my drag and air truck up the field and get, uh, I think he got eight yards on that play uh, right there. So that brings up uh, this next situation, which is, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a first down here. We'll jump back over to gameplay. And uh, now he's going to go to curl flat again. He's going to go to that very simple route combination from the curl flat play. And what you'll see here uh, from, from Kiv is this looks like man-to-man. -man. I'm not sure that he actually runs man on this, but this is just simply a uh, curl-flat concept right here. Um, and Kiv actually sends, sends the dogs at him and is able to, get, able to catch him. So let me just break down the route combination. It's actually interesting because I think Decroft max protected on this play. Um, yes, he did. He did indeed max protect on this play. So uh, he ran this to the right side of the hash or, or the right hash mark. So he was on the right side of the field and he flipped the flipped it obviously because we want the trips to the wide side and he ran the play uh, da, 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 curl flat Pat's curl flat, I believe, or just curl flats. Yep. Curl flats. Now Kiv is going to come out and he is going to now uh, again, he's played a little bit of coverage defense. Kiv does a great job on defense of mixing up you know what he's doing but in this situation he's going to send the dogs he's got his user lurk over the middle of the field so we're going to imitate that with a hook curl but right here he's going to send the pressure so he's got just a basic five-man blitz and decroft's going to max protect and then all he's going to do is he's going to place the um left of screen outside receiver on a slant route okay like that right there and then he's simply going to do just a little motion snap of that receiver uh, over here, and he's going to snap him kind of right in this little pocket. Decroft ends up missing this route right here, partially because of Kiv's user does deter it for long enough, but he did have the uh, the slant route. So now we're going down into this uh, situation. Now uh, I think we're third and all right. Are we third down or I think we're second down in this situation? Uh, we'll take a look here. Second and sixteen. Yep. So he takes his sack. Now you'll see uh, Decroft's going to go to tight end whip, should hit the zig, ends up not hitting the zig, and oh, he hits the pole, he hit it again. So, uh, and let me break this down, this is actually really, really important, I wanted to show you. Um, so right here, um, let me back it up, make sure I get this right. So look at, look at Young Kiv's defense, this is nickel 55 wide now. Same kind of thing. If the cover three is coming from this side of the field, right? If the cover three was coming from this side of the field, it might not work. I'm not quite sure. But let me just show you. This is nickel 35 wide. Now, Kiv is going to go. Um, again, Decroft's been seeing this a lot. So now what he's going to do is he goes to this this look right here. Kiv's, Kiv ends up sending four. So this is basic cover three buzz. This is just basic cover three from the nickel 35 wide. And what you'll see is this route combination that he employed early on in the game is going to come back to haunt Kiv for another uh, over-the-top, just absolute bomb. And we'll show you this really quick. So this is gun Y off trips. 
and let me make sure that I get everything right here. So gun Y off trips. We're going to flip this formation because we're on the right side hash mark. And we're going to come out and play tight end whip. And uh, Young Kiv is coming out in nickel 335 wide, cover three buzz. But the auto flip, uh, the auto flip is the key. It's going to end up flipping this cover three buzz. So what you'll see is this thing is going to be uh, flipped in this situation. And it's going to be just like that right there. So Kiv man aligns, presses, and it could have, I mean, it, it can certainly be shown, you know, out of, out of this, this play right here as well. He could have been in that, but I believe he was in the cover three buzz. So anyway, we'll just show you this and we'll show it to you just, just like this right here. Um, but it was flipped. I, I guarantee you it was flipped because the four man pass rush came from this side. Okay. So this was cover three buzz flipped that Kiv was in. And what's going to happen here is D Croft, um, same setup as last time, right? So we're going to streak uh, Chris Godwin. We're going to put Mike Evans on a comeback route. Um, and then we're going to block the running back. That's literally all we're going to do. And what you'll see is now you've got that tight end whip route um, if you need a check down. But basically, you'll see cover three defense, and he's going to glitch out and kind of freeze. And right there. Now, Brett Favre is going to make a little bit better of a throw than Tom Brady, but that is what happened. And once again, Decroft catches him deep for an absolute bomb. You see the whip route right there, come back route there, and then he's got that streak over the top, able to hit him, and a huge, huge play, another big play in the game for Decroft. Now, this, this next... Um, this next touchdown that Decroft's about to score right here is really going to kind of close the game. I mean, this is pretty much the end of his offense, really. It doesn't do a whole lot else on offense. Um, but this touchdown is going to basically close the game out. And you'll see what he does here, which is actually really, really cool. Um, obviously, he's going to come out first play, and he's going to try to just test Kiv's run D. Kiv's coming out in big nickel over G. Now, notice he's not pinching his line. That's actually very interesting. It actually does a little bit better job against Power O. Kiv's able to shoot the gap very, very good. And now Decroft's in a second and goal from the 12. And what you'll see is Decroft's going to get back into his Y off trips pats formation. And he's going to go to scat. Um, now scat is uh, a play that he will call, um, again, very, very infrequently. You know, but, but what he's really trying to do here is, and what you'll see here, is this route combination that he's going to run is actually going to be um, just phenomenal. And we'll show you what he's going to do right here. And he kind of bluffs him a little bit, but um, really what he does is he's just running a basic flood. So we're going to break down, and he does hit him um, real quick. He does score a touchdown on this. He has break the tackle, and he's going to score a touchdown. Let me show you this, and this is the play that closes the game out. So we're going to go back over to gameplay, and I just want to show you, again, what both parties are um, what both parties are doing on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Now, Kiv um, went to man coverage from the uh, nickel 335 wide in this situation. He actually goes to man press, and he's going to send a five-man rush at Decroft. So Decroft's coming out in the Y-off trips pads, of course, and he's since he's on the left hash, he's going to run it just standard. Now what Young Kim is going to do is he's going to come out in the nickel 335 wide, Mike Blitz zero, right? So we're going to send the goons at him. Now, uh, Decroft, very simple, again, very, very simple uh, route concepts here. I'm going to give you the setup here in just a second. But basically what Decroft did on this play was he placed the left of screen solo wide receiver on a flat route. He placed the tight end on a corner route because he has that tight end apprentice ability. He placed Mike Evans, this outside, far outside right receiver on a streak or on a fade route. Okay, and then he's going to motion Chris Godwin over and place him on a drag route. He ends up blocking the running back. Um, you probably could leave the running back on his route, but I think Decroft was expecting some pressure. It was obviously a great move because uh, Young Kiv ends, ends up sending some pressure in this situation. And Young Kiv will just mimic his user over the middle. Now, in this situation, you got to believe that Young Kiv is expecting Mike Evans to be on a post or something. Um, it could, you know, something kind of like that. But effectively, what ends up happening is the slot receiver ends up rat catching it up the field and is able to turn the corner and get that touchdown. And that right there is how Decroft wins this ball game. And really, not much else to see. Uh, Decroft's going to go down. You know, he's going to go up by two possessions. 
Kiv is going to get the ball. He's going to go down. He's going to throw a pick in the red zone. Uh, I think it's a pick six for for Decroft. Uh, or I'm sorry, he doesn't get a pick six. He just basically um, comes down in here, gets that. Uh, oh no, he does get a pick six here, and then he's able to get another interception, and then basically just clocks him out. As you can see right here, three minutes left in the game. Decroft in dominant fashion at this point. Uh, this game was a lot closer than the scoreboard indicated, um, but obviously Decraft with a with with a strong finish um, here in the back end of this game uh, ended up just really putting it on him. So, anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much it from the offensive side of the game for Decraft. We have a video on Young Kiv coming out later today as well, and we're going to be doing a video on defensive adjustments that you can use as well. So make sure to subscribe if you want to get these uh, these breakdowns. We did one on Dat Boys defense. We're doing one on Croft's offense right now, and then we'll be doing one on Kiv's offense, and then we'll also be doing one on D. Croft's uh, defense. Some really good stuff to learn from these guys. I really, really love the fact that competitive Madden is back and in full force and full swing, and I'm excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed these breakdowns. I've tried to make them as in-depth as I possibly can so that you can get an accurate understanding of how these people are really um, moving the ball and, and working the ball up and down the field against one another in this great game. So, anyways, guys, other than that, make sure to join the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Uh, if you have not already texted in your questions, you probably saw my phone number pop up uh, multiple times. It'll pop up real quick here. Uh, my number is 812 216-3644 if you want to get those free tips um, the New England Patriots ebook is coming out we're going to not only break down this why off trips a little bit more in that we're also going to break down the gun bunch the trips tied in the split close pass the empty ace patriot everything in the Patriots playbook we will be breaking down in that guide for you it's very comprehensive it's going to be over 200 pages long um, I think as it sits right now we're already over five hours of video breakdown and that does not even include um, we're not even over 50 percent done with the videos yet so um, there's just going to be a lot in that guide so you're really going to be able to uh, it's going to be kind of a one-stop shop honestly it's going to show you everything you could possibly do from the new england patriots offensive playbook so anyways guys other than that um like i said make sure you join the discord if you want to pick up a coaching session i do offer those as well where i can kind of break down your own game and show you exactly what you need to do to make uh, to make yourself a better player but other than that guys we'll see you tonight uh, on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time thanks for your time and hope you enjoyed the video breakdown